Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorial. This is episode 243 and today I'm going to make you some driving trends. The idea behind this show in particular will be to create like the background of a driving trend strike. So I'm going to do the percussions one little bit at the time. Every little sound, no loops of course, used because we do everything from scratch in this show. And uh, basically, I'm gonna do the percussions, I'm gonna put like a driving bass line, probably a sub into it, and maybe I'll put a melody, but maybe not, because I just want like to have this driving feel with the percussions that you create and stuff, and then you can layer things on top, or you can go more tech trancey with some grungy sound above and beyond and stuff. 136 BPM, 48,000 Hz, Logic Pro X, Silent One for this, and uh, of course, Drum Machine Designer, which if you, <laughs> I'm sorry, Watch any of my show, I use a lot in those shows, pretty much every single episode, guys. If you want to know more about those shows, I made another 242 episode where I make music in real time. I do also different shows where I do mastering, I do arranging, I do mixing. I cover different topics about music production that I think are very interesting. It's always live, it's always real time, uncut. I mean, you see that, I start recording and I see the whole process and you can check below. There's always some chapters if you want to jump to a specific topic about this track. I like to put the chapters so you guys get to the point. You don't have to watch a video. I also try to make them shorter these days so you guys get a bit more condensed version and you watch the whole thing. So let's get started, guys. 136 BPM. And of course, I forgot to mention that every single show gets its own template that goes on our site with me, guys, music.com. Check it out. And special effect button. And then <clears throat> we start here, 136. For me, at least, it's very fast. Maybe for you guys, gonna see driving trends. I can go, you know, faster and stuff like that. But 136. Oh, I'm gonna switch to headphones. So this is 136. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the percussions and I'm gonna drop a like a I would call it like a like like a rhythm bass line. It's not like the sub bass. It is just the It is the, the bass that will drive the track like a quick like you know something quick, something powerful in in the mid and mid lows that will drive the track. But first of all, I'm gonna build some percussions. Of course a hi-hat every every quarter of a beat here. Uh, I could bring it a bit higher. So what I'm doing guys is I'm replicating the MIDI. It's a lot easier to start everything from scratch. And then later on, I can do control A and I can do name region by track or even color region by track. So, you know, I sort out the stuff. But for now, we're just doing the basic kick, snare, hat. If you just only use loop before, you're gonna know that this is how you actually make music. So this is one of the hat, and I think I will we'll go straight, because we're doing driving, we'll go straight into a second hat, which I will make very quick. And this is gonna give a lot of drive to the sequence. But this is not necessary. This, this also depends on the mix. Some people, they put that way too strong and it come at the top, but this doesn't need to be there. Aha, now I have a problem, guys, because those two kits are playing together. That means that my quick hat is canceling this hat. I don't know who put those things in, in Logic. And it's just because, let's say with be a drummer, you cannot play those two hats at the same time. So they cancel each other, which is a bit ridiculous in those days. So I'm going to have to do a copy of this to solve my problem instantly or quickly, let's say. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to drop my second hat in this. And I'm going to remove it from here, so you can hear the result instantly. There you go. This here... I like it to be... I'm going to look at the frequencies. I like to cut the lows. Just to have the drive here. And then put the stereo delay. And go and put them off a little bit. Too much. It's just the mix. You, you've already said 10 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds. If I put it full, it work. But I just want a little bit of it, just so it's a bit more natural, less 
you know, on time to the millisecond, which is not what we really want for to have a bit of musicality, even knowing that this is, you know, trans music and it's it's not extremely important. But the feel, the feel is still, still there, and I think it's important. Then we have a ride here. If we're making this type of music, I think we're going all heavy on percussions. You know, we wanted to drive fully. So, oops. We can do this, or, or I could do I could do different patterns, but I think we'll go with this. So you know really want some drive in there. Then I have the crash here, which I will use not everywhere, but... Jeez, this is loud. Let's say that we use that every two bars. Then I see a click there and I'm tempted to the biggest fan of this actually. So I'm gonna do this. It's it's on the snare pattern but I'm gonna do a bit of a second hit here. You're gonna hear it right away the effect. I'm sorry I will actually delay it. So this one I get it right. Probably heard this type of pattern before, guys. This is, I'm just building the percussion. It will, the whole track will not have all those elements at all time. But as we build into the track, you know, we want to have a lot. And you know, as as I am building the parts, I think it's good to. So we're gonna have those hits, and underneath is gonna lay this little scoop here. this in the low here and replicate oh not what I wanted guys logic tend to do weird things sometime when I do replicate like this I'm gonna drop it again and then replicate not exactly what I don't want again so deselect reselect replicate now we start to groove bleep bleep horn siren noise Side chain, nothing I'm really want in there. Claps, yes. Percussion two. Let's see what we got. I need. I need a bit of a response or a bit of a. So this is good, I'm going to put it a little bit to the side here. I think we need some little clap in there. Not on top of the snare, not for me at least, I know some people like to do this, combine the snare and the claps. Again, this thing, this function that I still don't understand. Okay, we have the essential percussion now. I think I would probably pop 
An 808 kit a bit later to augment it a little bit, but I think as a base it's good. Control A, color region by track, name region by track, so we know what we have here when we get to mix. A kick, snare, some claps, some hats, ride, some crash, percussions, whatever that is, the scoop that is in the low end here. Uh, our rolling hat there, which you can do to bring a little bit higher. Oh yeah, I like this. Now we're gonna go into silent one and try to create a very simple melody which actually mm, yeah so some people think i'm lazy but i think i think i'm smart so i'm gonna take this right here that we built i'm gonna drop that on there and then i'm gonna check which oh not here actually on the silent channel let's see where it is okay that's a bit too high a bit mm, it's almost too low but uh, I like this little variation here, so. so let's do a bit shorter. Not the sound I want, but the pattern is okay to start. It's not the final, it's just this. And you know, you can keep this pattern and also do something like put some LFOs on there to variate, to create like a different feel. Let's browse some bass. One you can hear there's a bit of a level in there or a cutoff. Cool, there's something I forgot to add there is I'm gonna put a compressor right away here. Compressor side chain to the main kick here. Quickly a bit more power here to really get the feel of it. Remove the auto. Not sure. So now I like I like everything, but the key. That looks a bit better. Not quite what I'm looking for yet. a little bit of time. Mm, that, that would work, but not exactly what I was looking for. pattern here, double it and drop it an octave and create a sub layer 2 here. It's going to take a second. I'm going to go in the one that I just copied because I heard something I like that's going to fit well with this mode. I wanted this However, I think I And then try to combine them. Listen to this. This is nice, but with this. Oh, I somehow didn't replace this right that I use. Okay, so this is a good start.
So like I said, I want to create the bass to a track. I don't want to do a full track. I don't want it to be a long, long thing where I build a track. I think I have the bass here. The bass and the basses, really. So bass one, bass two. And of course, I have a lot of room to play here. I want to go into silent and open it. Nice little top there. I'm gonna put less crashes. I think it's a bit unnecessary. And I think what's missing now is what I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna bring a, a 909. CR909, legendary. And I want... Just to have like a bottom heavy percussion, so I'm gonna use the thumbs there from from this that I know has got a lot of a lot of chunks. Okay, that's already something else. Maybe not this much. That kind of work for you to be honest, but so without with. I'm gonna go into Q sampler here. I'm gonna look at what is the sample we're triggering. Oh yeah, I can do a lot better than this really. So basically it doesn't it, it triggers only the first part of the sample and we definitely want more of it like this. Like this. It's like a machine gun. Side chain on there. Quick attack, quick release, 4 to 1 ratio. So the kick really hit through. We'll see it. It's a bit crazy, I know, but the result is here. Without. With. Put that in the back. Let it simmer like this. Let's say that you wanted to maybe add even more, you know, intense parts. I'm gonna take my scoop here. I'm gonna go into the mid thumb that is here. Let's say that we want to go a bit more. You can hear this here in correlation. Together. And we don't even have a synth in there yet. And it already has definitely something groovy, to say the least. And I'm gonna double the kick with a 909 kick on, on top of it too. Oh, oh, I don't want it to remove it, this one completely. So I'm gonna do the kick. So this is a very different kick with a very different tone. Both of them together, very interesting, without. A nice little like this is a nice thickness to this 909 kick and if we give it just a little bit of boost here ooh, heard that I think we're very close to some driving trends guys I think one more little top item here is so I'm gonna take this I'm just gonna use this just for the key. And I'm gonna bring it a lot higher. And take this here. I'm gonna extend it. 
and go into alchemy and pick a string and do this low the volume so it's not gonna blow Control A, name region as track, color region by track, so we know a little bit where we're going with this track. And it's just a simple arpeggiated drop an arp on there. Ooh. I need something more. Something a bit a bit more intense. So all right, guys, this is going to be it for episode 242 of Your Life Electronic Music Tutorials. I'm not actually sure it might be 243, guys. I'm doing many of those, so it is actually 243. I'm going to turn that into a template, put it on our site, Remake Dance Music, for only five bucks, guys. So you get the tutorial, get a really an idea, and you really have some chunks in there. Man, this is quite a driving trance track. It's almost tech trance. It's a little bit on the edge, but guys, I just show you how to make heavy percussion, make something that is driving and also make side, make a song do it with you. 